know how your body language is affecting your results? The bottom line is when it comes to body language at work is to remember that you're not at home, you're not with family, and there are certain norms and expectations you need to follow in the workplace. A common mistake made by many young therapists is to assume that a friendly work environment means they can use body language that's typical of what they might use at home or in a casual or social situation. This certainly is not the case. And so in today's video, I want to share with you seven ways you and your staff can give positive body language vibes when at work. Number one, maintain good eye contact. It shows respect and interest in what your clients are saying. If you can maintain good eye contact for around 60 to 70% of the time, particularly in the first consultation, you're onto a great start. Number two, Show your friendly, listening and interested by tilting your head just a little to one side or the other. Number three, use open hand gestures and the palms facing upwards. Avoid pointing with an index finger as this really does appear quite rude and is not seen as being open and friendly. Respect a client's personal space. This is really important in the hair and beauty industry. Don't get too close as this can look quite pushy and intrusive. Number five, angle yourself fully towards your salon client to show interest. Number six, hold up your head. Slouching or lowering your chin can give the impression that you're a little bit lazy and don't want to help anyone. It's not a good look for exceptional customer service. Number seven, Crossing your arms or appearing defensive and closing down, avoid it at all costs. And as a final tip, always give a genuine smile. Now, when you've finished watching this, be observant, go back into your salon and see how your team are measuring up. It could mean the difference between gaining a client and losing one. Excellence is no accident. This is Julie Hine wishing you salon brilliance and success.